now this is a story about the time Alcatraz got occupied in 69 when the Sioux could take the surplus land thanks to the 1868 Treaty of Fort Laramie. was the income of the noble savage, one-fourth of the national average, and during the Eisenhower administration, they broke of tribes and forced urbanization, so the Indian condition was just no good. It started causing tension in the neighborhood. In 1963, Alcatraz went up for grabs, and the Indians banded together to take back their land. On March 8th of 64, a small group of Sioux occupied for a couple hours, but things really started November of 69, when nearly 80 got together from 20 different tribes. The 19-month occupation was on its way, which caused so many changes of today. Indians from all over felt the frustration, which is why nearly the 6,000 joined the occupation. The occupiers called themselves Indians of all tribes, comprised of students, children, husbands, and wives, broken treaties and promises, no human rights, were causes for which they were going to fight. radio station which broadcasted their struggle to the entire nation then celebrities took part and got involved now even the white man wanted their problem solved it was the first time in history the media cared which caused a shift in 10 different laws to be prepared nixon raised the bia's budget by 225 percent not to mention the money on health care that was spent flames now on june 11th the last 14 remain even when the occupation came to an end it still inspired the american indian movement 